Great morning, friends. Jason DeSantis, hashtag Cincy Car Coach. YouTube at Jason DeSantis. Question Are you even ready to get lucky? Are you even ready to get lucky? I've heard this phrase many times. I don't know if any one particular person is responsible for it or not, but I like it. Luck happens when preparation and opportunity cross paths. Preparation and opportunity, right? People talk about getting lucky. He's so lucky he got that job opportunity. They're so lucky they met, right? Things like that. Well, would the luck even really occur? Come to fruition? Would the result be there? If that person was not prepared for it when it presented itself. The opportunity, that being. Okay? There's things in your life. Here, let me put it this way. I believe, truly, that every single human being has multiple major opportunities to get lucky throughout their life. Multiple major opportunities are presented to them. A lot of people look like they get all the opportunities and they get all the luck. And other people look like they don't. Why is that? Could it be that that person that's always lucky is always prepared? And the person that's not is not. There's things that come around only every great once in a while in life. I mean, that's a fact. Nature is cyclical, is it not? We had an eclipse recently. I don't know, I even remember what they were saying about when the next eclipse like that was going to happen. But years and years and years. Those, um, what are those bugs? Cicadas. They come around every, what, seven years or so? It's pretty regular and cyclical. And I think opportunities are like that in life. But you need to be aware, number one, that they're going to come. And you need to be conscious and have your radar up to recognize them. Let me give you an example of how this works. Have you ever been in love? Do you know what it's like to be in love? I do. And I can tell you this. That when you're in love, your radar is up and on point for opportunities to express that love to the person. If it's really truly how you feel, if you're really truly in love with somebody, all day long you think about them, right? And all day long you're like, ooh, they would really like this. I'm going to get it for them. Or, oh, I got I to gotta, I gotta write that down and remember to say that to them. These are opportunities throughout the day that present themselves for that particular relationship for you to make an emotional deposit. <laughs> Remember that video? Emotional deposits. Anyway, I don't want to get sidetracked. For you to make an emotional deposit in that person, right? If you were not in love with them, you would not notice these things. You would not notice these things. Therefore, they wouldn't happen. This is the same thing about your opportunities in life. Fall in love with the ideas of what you want to do with yourself in your life. Think about that. What if you were in love with the places you want to be and the person you want to be someday? The same way you could fall in love with a person. You would always be on the lookout and on the ready for opportunities to get closer in that direction. That's preparation. That's preparation. When you're prepared, the opportunities are easy to take a hold of. Right? The, re the rest is just math. <laughs> so when you're prepared, when you're mentally and emotionally prepared for the opportunities that come up, you look pretty darn lucky to the people around you. So, Think about that. Identify what you want. Make it very clear to yourself. Think about it a lot. Write it down. Look at it. Fall in love with it. If it's worthwhile, you could fall in love with it. If it's not, then change your idea about what you want to be, where you want to go. 
Then when the opportunity arises, because it will, just like a cicadas every once in a while, you're gonna be have an opportunity to take advantage of it. Make it a great day.